as our anxieties, obsessions, desires as a culture change, our monsters change. The word horror comes from an old French term that means to shiver or quake. And so I think that it's the physicality of the horror genre that draws us in. Dracula. A few of the key components of the horror genre would be uh, victim, monster, heroes. It's interesting because the monster has changed over time. Originally, the monster was often a supernatural threat. So the monster existed in an alternative world that was not the world that the audience lived in. So Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the Wolfman. Over time, we started to see more what I would call secular threats. So threats that I define as existing in the world that we live in today. So Psycho and Norman Bates. Threats like the boy next door who could do something very terrible. The best horror films make the monster a metaphor for a larger contemporary concern. So for example, when The Blob came out, uh, people in the United States were concerned about communism. So here's this huge red blob that takes over everything that it touches. So it's a literal red blob we can be afraid of, but for those who are more interested in reading into it or seeing the cultural critique, it could also be symbolic of communism. Before long, the nation and then the world could fall. I often have students who hate the horror genre. And I walk in the first day and I say, welcome to Topics in Film. This semester we're talking about the horror genre. And they want to drop the class, but they don't. And by the end of the semester, they come up to me and they say, I'm so much more comfortable watching horror films. I tell all my friends about them. I analyze them. Uh, I really like the genre now. And it's very gratifying that they can see culture at work in the genre once they take the class. And that feels great.